Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, and yeah, my thunder it came very, did very, very good. I should say that very, very good. And it was way easier to watch than last week's. I mean, last game before this, that it came down to the last minute to decide what was going to happen. And this time I was able to get some sleep because this game was over by the third quarter, pretty much midway in the third. So I was like, you know what? I have school in the morning. I have test. Let's go to bed. Which was the right decision. Shea was phenomenal. Shea was phenomenal when he got the way real quick. 33 points. He should be the MVP. We'll discuss that a little bit later on probably. But also remember it's a regular season award. So let's focus on just a regular season. For anyone that's talking about Luka and what he's doing against the Clippers. Hypocritical when it comes to the idea of being the MVP. Since it's a regular season award. So let's focus on that. Chet played phenomenal. Uh, started off the game, 15 points in the first quarter, no misses, were, was great. Only rookie to do that in the playoff game. Perfect quarter of at least 15 points. That's great. Um, Jonas Valanciunas. We had a very slow start when it comes to guarding him. We picked it up very well. Jonas Valanciunas looked like prime Shaq at one point. He scored 11 straight points for the Pelicans. The first seven points of the game, he scored. After that, I don't remember a time he scored in the second, in the first half. That is very good. I'm happy about that. Like, we had a bad start. We fixed it. Our offense started off pretty good. It continued to be pretty good. Our defense was okay, but then became really, really good. I mean, Lou Dort has done something to Brandon Ingram. I don't know how, but I'm all here for it. He has made sure that this man cannot get a good shot of. I mean, 90, 80, 85% of the time when Lou Dort's on him, every shot he takes is contested. And he usually misses. I mean, I mean Brandon Ingram, he's really good. He's going to get open. He's going to get the switches he wants. He's going to get open at one point. And we know that. But the first game of the year, I mean, the first game of the series, he went like 5 for 17. He didn't do great last night. He's taken a while to find a rhythm, and during that time, we can take that and use that to our advantage to go to get a lead. J-Dub, very good. He's a good defender, too, and it's showing a lot. You gotta love it. J-Dub has played great defensively. Let's continue that. Isaiah Joe, he hit two shots that were just unbelievable threes. Catch and shoot. He's one of the best in the NBA. I just catch and shoot from wherever. Wherever on the court. Catch and shoot to pretty much perfect. <laughs> and then you, you have you have some our bench overall. I like our bench. Case and Wallace again, good defense. Jay Will, he's had some good plays. He had a really cool play that Aaron Wiggins pretty much broke CJ McCollum's ankles. Get out the Wallace, I'm pretty sure Wallace drove in, gave it down. I think I think it was Wallace or J Dub. It got the ball, pump fake, went by B.I. Alvarado tried to take a charge. He messed up. Aaron Wiggins open layup. And after that point, that game was kind of over. Because it was like, okay, we we know what's up. Okay, this they are going to have a tough time coming back from this. And they didn't. I mean, we ended the first quarter up by 10. We ended the second quarter up by 13. We ended the third quarter up by 18 or 20. And we won the game at like 22. I'm at 32. Even better. Like 92 to 124. They scored about the same points they did last game. We scored 30 more. We will win a lot of games doing stuff like that. And people thought this team was the worst one seed in NBA history. How are you saying that now? Are you? Are you still saying that now? Mm -mm, I don't think so. But talking about Shea real quick. Uh, Shea, MVP. We're talking about defense. People are talking about Lucas now playing defense. Like ooh, Lucas clamping up some of the Clippers. Shea led the league in steals. Can we give that man some credit? He led the league in steals per game. He also averages 30 points per game for back-to-back -back seasons. I know we're taking account just this year, but a guard who shoots 30%, shoots at least 50% from the field, averaging 30%. I mean, averaging 30 points, shooting 50% in back-to-back -back years as a guard. Only Michael Jordan and Shea have done that. So, we're not saying he's on par, but, yeah. But, you have that. He's one of the best facilitators. He's a very, very good facilitator. He doesn't need the ball at all times to be effective like Luka does. When Luka needs the ball to be able to make, run his plays, run the offense to the best of his ability, even though he has Kyrie on his team still. 
Look at I mean Shay can just stand and move around off ball and let Jacob control it and still get good shots. He doesn't force the ball. He doesn't need the ball at all times. He is very unselfish, and that's why this team has flourished, because he's allowed other guys to progress. Luka gets the ball at all times and puts people in the corner shooters. He doesn't let other people progress that way. As you're just, you're stuck to one role, and you're at that. If J-Dub was stuck in the corner the entire time, he wouldn't have progressed. But he has, because Shea and them let him progress. Because he's shown abilities, and Shea does not force to bring up the ball. He's smart when it comes to that. He's able to play more games. He's able to play more effectively because he's less tired. And yeah, that's great. Great strategy. He can play anywhere at post. He's a very, very smooth game. We're 2-5 and five without him on the year. We almost lost to the Hornets without him. But with them, we can beat the Nuggets. We had a, I think we had a win record against the Nuggets. Who were the champions. Who have looked great. So, like, with Shea, he is very, 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 very valuable to the level that he might be. He probably is the most valuable. So the most valuable player, number one seed, youngest team ever, leading them to the top, leading them to the one seed. So let's just say I'm feeling pretty confident about Shea winning the MVP. I think he's very, very good. If you have to go betting right now, it's either Luka or Shea. If Jokic wins it, then my gosh, that's crazy. But let's go. Let's do it, man. We're up 2-0. We go to New Orleans. New Orleans is terrible at home. Four games. Let's go. Was aiming for four. This Clippers Maverick series at least going six games, probably seven. Let's go. Thunder and fall. God bless you.